Hey, what's up guys? Long time no see, huh? Uh, my last video is about a years ago. I don't even remember what 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 was my channel doing. So, anyway, today I got something special. This. I got this. This is a uh, 144 model kit from 40 model. You know that brand? I don't know that brand and I can't search it online. There's nothing from Google I can search about. And yeah, so this thing exists. And uh, judging by how cheap this whole model kit is, it's about $3 online and it contains 8 individual model kits. Yes, that's how cheap this is. In the box you get all you need. Some tank theory plastic model, 144 scale, realistic model, come and collect them, enrich your arsenal. Yeah, not so prompting marketing for me. The main reason I got this, well, first it's so cheap, so why not get this? And the second, I really want my own set of access and ally board game and I often heard that they are really lack of pieces so I guess why not buy some something online separately they are 144 scale which is I think twice the size of the original piece original piece from access and allies but they're so cheap so why not let's build them and try as you can see when we open this, we got eight, 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 eight separate boxes. They're all individual model kits. You can see the back of the box and indicate which one you got from the in total eight collections. So let's check them out one by one. So the first one would be. Oh wait, this is number four. Where's number one? Four. Oh, this is number one. Tiger. And the second. Now I'm just going to lay them down and go through them one by one. So let's get started. The first four case you can see number one, two, three, and four. Tiger Heavy Tank, Yak Panther, I don't know if I get it right, T3485, and Hero Tank, which is from China, I guess. Number 5, uh, Panda was at, at what? Andy, IS2. We got AMX30 and the last, the whatever that is, 3. The side, the side of each box are the brief introduction of each tank. So, without further ado, let's get building. First one will be AMX30. First, I will show you what's inside, and believe me, there's nothing much to show. We got, well, one, two, three, four, five, six pieces for a 144 scale tank. Not so much. And there's also a uh, instruction in the back here says well the first one you install the commander hatch on the torrent then to the hole second install truck on the chassis then you put them together you get the whole tank it's that simple you know that i spent about like 10 or 15 hours on this Tank, you know, call this one thirty-five scale. Well, 
this won't be much of a challenge here. So let's get started. Well, I don't have many tools, let alone the right tools, so I'll just use whatever I have. Got a scalpel, um, or just a or knife, and a file. Just randomly pick one. I'm not going to use the cement for now. Let's get the part out here. But uh, well, no need to hurry. There's only six parts. All right, I got all the parts out, six of them, and let's send them down. All right, we got all six part out. Commander's hatch on, like this, I guess. It's a little bit tight. And next, put on tracks on the chassis. Oh, I didn't. This fits perfectly. Then the turret. This hole is too tight. Ah, now we're talking. Great. Turret on the hole and assemble everything together. And we got it. AMX 30 main battle tank. Like showed. On the box. God, even the picture on the box is bigger than the tank itself. Let's move on. Well, that's why it cost me about 10 minutes, so I'll do the rest of them in time lapse.
here you have it. Oh, eight of them. Well, there are some flaws here and there. Maybe some design error or just I'm too lazy to clean up the details. So, well, first, if you would notice, I, it took me a lot of time a long time to put the scum metlet through the barrel down there and it still look quite not nice and another one you will notice the, there is a huge gap between the turret and the hole of this T3485 and there's actually this ring here prevented from going down. I don't know why they designed this. This IS-2, you can see the roof of the turret is a little bit too thick and left a huge, not so huge, not, not so huge compared to that 34 here, but there is a gap. They are pieces for a board game, well, which how I am intend to use them. After all, if you want to compare the 144 scale to 135 scale, there it is. Got my 135 KB2 and the IS2 set right on top of the turret. All right, guys. That's been done, and it's time to end today's video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I know there's more of this 4D model out there, and they are relevantly cheap. So if you want to see more of those things, just tell me. Bye!